it's time to start thinking about designing your website. From my main menu, I will click on Design, and that brings me straight to Theme Editor. Now the Theme Editor is where you can see which theme do you currently have installed, over here. And down below the name of your theme, you have Theme Settings and Theme Editor. Now the difference between these two is that the Theme Settings is a very easy to use interface that allows you to make changes to the look of your store. No need to know any coding or any HTML. Over on the left is for those people who do know coding and HTML. Let's click on that. There's a big warning that pops up and it says, once you edit this theme's code, your theme will no longer receive any updates from the theme store. We also won't be able to offer technical support. I'd like to just reassure you, this does not void your access to technical support. What happens here is that we wouldn't be able to troubleshoot any problems that might be within the design's coding. If this was custom made, paid for, or you did it yourself, then we wouldn't be able to help troubleshoot where did the coding go wrong. If you did hire someone or you know coding and you want to do this on your own, you can check off this box and hit continue. I'd also like to state that the reason that we have to break the relationship between you and the theme store is so if you are doing your own custom coding or you've paid someone for it, we don't want to push through an update and then write over anything that you've worked on. So that's why we offered this option so that we don't push through updates and then get rid of everything that you might have paid for or worked on yourself. Let's cancel out of that. Now the theme that you're running determines a lot about your website. Maybe the theme that you currently have installed that came with the software is not the one that you would like to keep. Before entering the theme settings and showing you those different features and functionalities for this particular theme, I'm going to head over to the theme store. In the theme store, you will find hundreds of themes. There are a lot of different themes available that have different features and functionalities, different outlines, different outlooks, etc. There is a filter right here, but we have only a few filters in here. If you'd like to get very specific, if you know really what you're looking for, I'd like to ask you to head over to lightspeedhq.com and visit the e-commerce section. In there, we've developed a tool that allows you to just check off a few boxes to pick and choose the features that you really care about, whether they're design features, integrations, etc. For example, maybe you really care about having the hamburger menu on your website. You can just check off the box saying that that's something that you'd like, and then it'll filter your results so that you don't see all of the themes, you will only see the themes that have the hamburger menu. So keep in mind that there are certain functions that are only possible if your theme allows you to do them. Now, just a few more things on themes. I'd like to offer some advice on how do I pick a theme and how do I know I'm going to like it. So if you've used the tool and you've refined down your results to maybe two or three different themes, go back to your e-commerce, open up the design section, and go to the theme store, like I did, and look up the theme in particular. Now, I'm going to look up the Voila theme, like so, and I'm going to click on Buy This Theme. Now, this won't actually install my theme. I have to then click on this and then approve and let it install. But my advice to you to choose a theme would be go and visit the demo. I'm going to click on this. It's going to open up in another page, like so. Here are a few questions that you should ask yourself. Do I like this big headline image? Do I like the placement of the logo? Do I like this pop-up for the newsletter? Let me close that. Do you like the way that the categories appear? Do you like the way that the products look in a category? And of course, let's open up a product and see, do we like the full page of a product? Do I like where the additional content shows up? Let's add it to the cart. Do I like the look of the cart? These are just some of the questions that you might be asking yourself. I'm sure there's a couple of other questions you're asking yourself too. Can it do this? Can it do that? In that case, that's my second piece of advice to you for today. Now, each theme has a manual. Each theme is different. Each theme has its own image requirements. Another thing that is fun to know about the theme that you're going to be installing is how much management does it need? Do I need to go in there and manage it on a daily basis? Do I have time for that? A weekly, monthly, yearly basis? Another thing that you can figure out very quickly from user guides is how complicated is the theme? Am I going to need to learn a few things here and there in order to be able to get this website up and running? 
If that's the case and you don't have the time or you feel like it's a little bit too complicated for you, you might want to go for an easier theme, something that you can manage on your own. For the theme store, I'm all done and those are the little pieces of advice that I wanted to offer you. Let's go back to Theme Editor. And let's jump into the theme settings. Now once you enter the theme settings, you have a little page that you can open up the full description to see all of the key features of this particular theme, the different presets that might come along with it. Different presets simply offer you different colors when you install different presets, which can be done right here. You want to be careful when it comes to switching presets or even switching themes, because if you do this, and you select another preset and you go to install it, your current settings will be replaced when you install a new preset. This cannot be undone. This is the same situation if I go to install another theme. Choosing a theme should be one of the first things that you do after you purchase this software because image requirements are different from theme to theme. And number two, if you install a new theme, all the settings that you had previously are gone. Even if you reinstall that older theme that you had, the settings won't appear. You will need to reconfigure your internal theme settings. Let's scroll down a little bit. Now the first thing I have at the top here is a tutorial. I want to talk about this tutorial for a quick minute. In order to see the tutorial, I'm going to have to open up the customer facing website. And I'm going to do that by clicking on this button right here that opens up your customer facing website in another page. So this is what my store currently looks like and this is what everyone's store looks like when they install Lightspeed e-commerce. My tutorial is asking me if I want to hide it right now. It's asking me do I want to add navigation items? Would I perhaps like to add a headline image? And then down here I also have featured categories. Maybe you have a sub-leveled category that is your most popular category and you'd like to showcase that right on the home page. Maybe down below you have four, eight, or more top-selling products and you'd like to just showcase that right on the home page, right here. So the beauty of the tutorial is it lets you just click. Opens up in another page and then you can just start adding your featured products. Let's close this. That's what the tutorial is doing for you today. I'm going to go back up, close this page, and let's get back to the back office. I am going to turn off the tutorial. I have a folder over here on my second screen that you can't see with all of my pictures ready to go. So I've got my fav icon, my logo, let's drag and drop the files that we need. You can drag and drop or click on browse. Now this will officially be on my website, but let's keep going. Let's make some more changes. The typography section of this particular theme is very clearly defined. The heading fonts, the body fonts. Let's go ahead and make a change to this. Let's use Roboto today. There we go. Now, some of these terms might not be something that you're aware of right away. These are terms that might be learned along the way. Top bar text, header text, body text. If you need to know a little bit more about these terms, that's where user guides come in. Each theme has one, has the different image requirements. Let's come back up here, open up the full description, and let's open up the documentation. Let's go check it out. So at the very top, of course, we offer you the image requirements, but I'm going to keep going. One reason why I particularly like this theme is we made it, so we wrote the user guide for it. It shows you what is a logo, what is a fav icon, typography section, what's the body, what's the highlight color, what's a header, where's the top bar. All of these I didn't know at first. Slowly but surely, this knowledge will be acquired. Let me close this page. And let's get back down to the typography section. Here we are. So for these typography sections, 
top bar text, header text, go ahead and use the user guide if needed. But the way that it works is you move these little dots around to find just the right color. Move the dot, move the bar to get that right color. And if you do find just the perfect color, you feel free to copy that and then paste it wherever you might need it. Just like that. If ever you click on something and you make a mistake, the previous color that you had will be in the first bubble. That was the typography section. Let us keep going. This is the background section. So everything on my website that has to do with the background. All of these little changes make a big difference on the website. If you'd like to add an image, you certainly can. Image positioning, would you like to have the image be repeated? Or maybe you'd just like to change the background color. You can feel free to do that. Like so, let's make this just a little off gray so you can see the change when I show you my customer facing website. I'm gonna keep going and show you banners. Now banners are part of this theme's functionality. In other themes, you might have different types of functionalities. Now I've also got those pictures lined up and ready to go. I've got my left banner, and I've got my right banner. Now, if you want to, you can make these banners clickable. If you don't want that functionality to be enabled, simply leave the box empty. But let's pretend that we want this to go to google.com. Let's keep going. Homepage features. When it comes to different themes, there's a lot of things that you can turn on and off. I'm going to describe just a small handful in here. All the other ones are things that are going to come along with time. So in the home page, would you like to showcase your tags on the home page? Yes or no? Do you want to display your featured category titles in the box or would you just like the box for the image? Yes or no? Brand names. Would you like to have a brands button on your website and showcase your 10 biggest brands on the bottom of your website? I would like that, so I'm going to turn it on. If you leave this off, brands are simply hidden and don't show up on your website. Show new and sale icons for products that are recently pushed over to the e-commerce. The category section. Would you like to show all the categories in the sidebar menu when you're browsing through products, or would you like them to be squished and only the section that you're in is unfurled? Would you like to show the amount of products in each category? Product settings. Would you like customers to be able to leave reviews? You can turn that on and off. Do you want to show your inventory levels or just in and out of stock? Would you like to show the brand name of your product in the title? Yes or no? These are just some of the settings that are present in the theme editor. I'm going to save my changes and now we're going to go check out my website and see what it looks like with these changes. So I've opened up my website, I turned off my tutorial, so now I don't have anything happening in the middle of my website. I can see that there's now a brands button, I can see that the fonts have changed, and I can see that my background is now off gray. These are just some of the things that you can do with the theme editor to make the website your own. Now since the page is so short, it's time for us to start looking at headlines, featured products, and featured categories. So let's take a moment, and then we'll start talking about headlines, featured products, and featured categories.